Hey, what's up guys? This is Johan, and on this video, we'll be talking about keeping spear frags for your reef tank. Alright guys, so this video is inspired by one of my subscribers, Sophia. Hey, Sophia. <laughs> she asked, do you keep spear frags of your corals just in case you... Oh, sorry. Do you keep a frag of each of your corals? That way, if you lose one, you can replace it. And definitely. Um, most of you guys who are new to my channel who have not seen my 75 gallon tank when it was just about in its prime, I had a lot of fish and a lot of angelfish, but the corals were a bit on the lack inside. Um, I did put a few frags in there. They were doing okay but not as good as they could. Um, the only corals that were thriving in my um, 75 gallon tank was my all the euphelias and some of the um, frog spawns. Now a couple of the of the um, corals that could not survive in that system, um, for example my acros, all those um, died because my nutrients were extremely high even though I did water changes and had a few things um, done. Um, also I had a few algae outbreaks so the, sy the system was doing good for fish but it hadn't fully broken in for coral. Um, I think that system ran for about two years before I actually broke it down because of all the fish loss that I had. So keeping spear frags is an awesome thing to do, especially if you have multiple systems. If you don't have multiple systems, um, one of the things you could do is probably keep a different frag of that coral on a different rock. That way, if you happen to lose one, that main co mother colony, you always have a little frag. And the 20 gallon nano right there is actually built um, about 90 to 95% of the corals in that system um, basically came from the 75 gallon. And then I did add a few different frags of course or actually um big mother colonies i cut up and put different frags in different places just in case i did lose any frags so Tony gallon nano um awesome system it is booming i built it for coral and it is um doing really well um all the corals basically stay alive and another thing why um, you keep spear frags. For example, in my case, I have a lot of angels, and my angel, in particular, in particular, at zoanthids and um, lobophilia and some um, soft corals. Corals I couldn't keep in the 75 gallon. I could easily keep in the um, 20 gallon nano. That way, I could keep the corals that I want to and don't have to worry about the fish eating it. So let's talk about some of the benefits that you can have from keeping spear frags in your system. So the one, the main one, just like we talked about earlier. Just in case you lose any coral in your system or start to have, have a coral loss due to maybe a fish like, from, for example me, all my zoanthids were being eaten by my angelfish or you get an outbreak um, like flatworms or red bugs or something that's eating your corals. That way you have a spear um, frag in a different system or it could be in the same system on a different rock. That way you at least have a spear frag just in case that fish die, the coral dies, sorry. Um, the second um, ex second benefit is to if you want to do any experimentation, um, for example, coral placement. Maybe you want a higher light, low light, or higher place in the rockscape, or a different place in the rockscape where you can see different results. Um, also, if you want to experiment with different type of lighting, lighting. For example, I have um, the. I have that acro I keep showing you guys in the 20 gallon nano. I have about four frags of it in different places in the 20 gallon nano, and I have a few frags in the 10 gallon um, office tank right here. And in each different place that they are, I see different uh, growth patterns. So on the sand bed, right down there, um, the acro looks very branchy and all clustered up together at the base with different branches. And then I had a frag here but it broke off on the edge side right there. Um, that one looks more skinny and spiralized and comes out almost like a tree of some sort, um, unlike the main mother colony that had that big base at the bottom. And then I have a frag that's always elusive. <laughs> I'll make sure to put a picture in because every time I go shoot with a video it's always blurred out. Um, it doesn't look anything like mother colony and any other colony at all. It actually looks more purple with the pops more pulled in because in it because it's in a low light area versus the mother colony and the other colony which is more in a l more lit area and get a little bit more flow um, so mother colony gets less flow but highlight the other one that's right there on the corner gets 
same amount of light as mother colony a little bit more because it's a little bit higher and more flow because it's in a channel where the water goes around so a third reason is to have an excuse to have a second or third or fourth tank um, it depends on what, how much tanks you have um, this might sound a little funny but uh, once you get into this hobby um, having extra corals in a different system is something that you sometimes you want to do um, like um, for example step two where you want to try different experimentation as part of placement let's say you want to try something different like I wanted to try my first nano reef um, that's actually small and it's actually a budget aquarium um, so I want to try something under all my DIY lights together um, so um, excuse to have a, a secondary tank um, <laughs> you know if you have a spouse that doesn't want you to have a secondary tank you could excuse <laughs> you know you want to try something different not that <laughs> you know try a different tank not something different don't tell them that <laughs> And then the fourth um, benefit that you have, um, if you are a new reefer, you may not see this benefit just yet, but future you will. Um, keeping spare frags, as you keep spare frags, maybe just to keep them alive so they don't die, they will eventually start growing and getting out of hand. So you'll have spare frags and have a way to make extra money. So all your spare frags that's in your extra system or on a different side of the rock, once they start getting out of hand, you can always start fragging pieces of those and start selling them at, um, and different frog swaps or um, if you know anybody in your hobby um, in the hobby that you could um, swap with all right guys so keeping spear frags is an awesome awesome thing to do um, it saves you in case you lose any coral and I mainly talk about keeping spare frags in a different system in your own um, in your own house or something. Um, but for example, guys like Mike Paletta, um, Rico's Reef Tank, and all the guys that's been in the, the hobby 20 plus years, you always hear them talking about before they used to just um, loan some of their frags to one of their friends or um, for example Sanjay and Paletta. They, they give each other frags just in case, for example, Mike Paletta loses a frag or something. He, Sanji has it so you could easily store your spear frags with one of your friends so it doesn't have to be in your home system if you have somebody that keeps spear frags you can always share with them so just in case you lose your entire system for any reason maybe it's a fire um, electrical maybe it's a hurricane or something you don't have a generator but they do and they are able to keep the frags alive or the coral alive and then you could always switch back so um, right now we always try to make money off of everything we do but I mean back in the day like um, I said pull it on the guys used to um, just land each other frags or give each other frags for free and that way you always have a spare frag alright guys so let's talk about when it would be the best time to get a spare frag from a coral um, in my opinion I think one of the best times is when you first get that coral now if you get it from your LFS and not ordered online it's a little bit more in the lines of what I'm speaking of um, especially if it's a coral that is already established in your um, LFS's um, reef system um, and it's a growing coral you buy that frag um, it's already established so it's not stressed out you, that um, one to 30 minutes to one hour of drive drive home is not really going to stress that coral out so much so right there you could frag that coral now if you order coral online it might be a little bit um, difficult because that coral has to be shipped overnight and might be different temperature changes temperature changes and different um, bumps and things that it goes through as it's been shipping in during shipping and handling so I would always say um, for coral that you order online at least give some time to get established in your system um, that way it's acclimated to you but if you have a brand new frag I would um, from a LFS I would frag it right there when you when you're about to dip your coral now the main reason for fragging the coral as soon as you get it from the LFS is because of stress um, because you don't have to deal with the shipment of corals the coral comes directly to you it's already acclimated to the water that it's already in so it's less stress and once you then frag it and dip it then slowly accumulate it to your system that way it goes on the at least stress as possible now another way to when you want to frag your, system, your coral if you have a coral that's well established in your system um, and a coral that is easily fragged for example like a Monty or something those are easily fragged you just easily break a piece off or some acros you could just snip a piece off or break a piece off so a coral that's already established in your system and it's not on its way out um, it's easily fragged and another thing if you have a coral that's on its way out for example an acro that is starting to um, strip back most of the times if you cut off the piece that is stripping back 
the remainder of that coral will actually heal over and then sometimes if for example the top piece of the coral still has flesh and then the bottom part has flesh and then this part of the, the middle part of the coral has uh, some kind of slow tissue necrosis something like that you could cut that piece off throw that away and use that top part as a actual frag and then keep the um, main base as basically the mother colony and that way you actually have a spare frag that you put somewhere else all right guys that pretty much wraps it up for this video um, if you guys like this video um, and agree with some of the things that I said go ahead and let me know down in the comments or if anything that you disagree with anything that I may miss or may have misspoken um, all you all the guys in the hobby go ahead and comment down below um, let me know if I miss anything <laughs> if I did I'm doing a good job as far as um, getting the right information out there I am um, not a seasoned hobbyist yet but I am I think like I'm getting there so I don't want to spread the wrong information I'm given as good as I know but uh, I know there's a lot of older guys uh, like Rico you always watch my stuff um, comment down below what you guys think of this video and let me know and I'll catch you guys in the next one if you have not subscribed yet hit the subscribe button I'll catch you guys in the next one